crazy that I think is going to get massive, like absolutely huge from my own usage. So I've been trying to teach myself how to do a little bit more programming and I've been creating a few videos about it. But one of the things that I think is emerging, and I just want to show you on my phone, um, is the ability to get on the spot tutoring with an AI voice. So you already, like many of you maybe have already um, used the OpenAI advanced voice mode, and that's coming coming very, uh, if you haven't used it already, I'm sure you will very soon, but it is amazing, it's, it's truly amazing. Um, it's an absolute revolution in terms of being able to interact with AI. But one of the things that excites me is like, you can't custom train it, but what, what you can do in, with some other um, uh, apps that I've seen online and that, I, that I've started using is that you can custom train these AI voices on specific things. And you know, what's crazy is I actually enjoy it. I actually enjoy it. And I just want to show you a bit of an interaction of like how I've been learning things very quickly. Like I've become, become very immersed at, at, at certain things. Like we already know that with AI, you can learn and do so many new things, like things you just never thought you could possibly do. But this is just a new way, like a full on immersion around um, getting advice, like very, very tailored advice on something that you're working on. So check this out, check this out. I've been using this, I, I tried it out. I've only been using it for a few days. I wanna just show you, I'll show you on the screen. It's called Vappy. It's a way to, there, there's like, it is kind of good for developers, but it's it's not that hard. It's not that hard. Like all I, I, I did it myself. I figured it all out myself. I just added a whole range of API keys. I needed to um, integrate a couple of a couple of things, but it, just, it wasn't really that difficult to be honest. Um, and there is some costs to to it, but in terms of the value at like, it's really nothing. I think it cost me 10 cents a minute, maybe 10 cents a minute while I'm on a call which does add up if it's for an hour, but still it's like nothing. Like, I mean, if you're, if you're paying like 10 to $20 an hour to, um, even, you know, even less than that in some cases, to have a discussion with an AI who's helping you on something very specific and will save you hours. I mean, it's just, it's just an absolute no brainer, isn't it? Okay. So let's just, let's just, this is a, I have not, this is going to be a totally random, um, interaction with AI. I haven't pre 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 processed anything. And we're going to interact with my AI Cody, the uh, Cody, the programmer. So you'll see here, uh, I've got um, my own AI that I've programmed as a coder. And I've got a full on custom prompt and behind the scenes and hit that that that, um, that they are a coding expert, so on and so forth. Okay. And we're going to walk through something that I'm not quite sure on. And we're going to see if it can help me. Let's go. Hey, Cody. I'm working on a script. Uh, it's a transcription script that is written in Python, and it enables me to quickly transcribe some audio into wherever my mouse or my cursor is on my on my page. So that that sounds like a fun project. Transcribing audio can be quite handy especially when you want to capture ideas quickly. So if I understand correctly, you want your Python script to listen to audio and then paste the transcription wherever your cursor is positioned on a page. Do you already have a way to get the audio input and transcribe it? Or are you looking for guidance on that part too? Also, are you thinking of using any specific libraries for this? There are some great ones out there. Cody, like speech Cody, recognition for the Cody, I've already got it set up and working and I don't need any more help with that particular code. So what, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to improve it. Currently, I can only run it when I have my command prompt open and I have to start the particular Python script every single time. But what I want to do is I want to be able to have it always on on my computer while my computer is running. So I've asked Claude Sonnet 3.5 how to do this, and I just want your feedback on some of the things that uh, it is asking me to do. Got it. You're looking to make your transcription script run in the background so you don't have to keep starting it manually every time. 
That's a great way to improve your workflow, just like a superhero sidekick, always there when you need it. So what did Claude suggest? I'm all ears and I'll give you my thoughts on it. Whether it's creating a service, using a task scheduler or something else, I can help you figure out if it's the right approach. Okay, that's cool. So currently all of my code is in one Python file, but Claude has said to run to run it in the background, to run the script in the background without the command prompt, create a system tray icon, package the script as an executable. So based on this, can I just ask, do I put this in the same Python script or do I place it in a different script? I'm just not quite sure. It doesn't, it doesn't really tell me. Great questions. So if you're looking to create a system tray icon to run your script in the background, it's usually best to keep your existing transcription logic in one script and then add the system tray functionality into that same script. You can think of it like this. The transcription part is your main dish and the system tray icon is the garnish. You want them to be part of the same meal, right? To get started, you can use a library like pstray for the system tray icon and pil, pillow, for handling the icon images. You'll set up the tray icon to run your transcription script in the background when you click on it, which should make your life a lot easier. So you'll be adding the tray icon code to the same script. Just make sure to structure it so that the transcription logic runs when the tray icon is active. Do you want help with how to integrate that? Or do you already have a plan in mind? I think I have a plan in mind and I'm right now pasting it into my Python script in Visual Studio. So just let me do that. Sounds good. Take your time. Visual Studio is a great choice for coding. I'm here whenever you need to bounce ideas around or if you hit a snag while integrating the system tray icon. Just remember, coding is like cooking. Sometimes you need to taste it as you go. Enjoy the process. Okay, thanks. So now I've done that. Now I've got the next one is package as executable. Use Pi installer to create a standalone executable. So what does that actually mean? Uh, packaging your script as an executable is like putting your delicious dish into a nice takeout container so you can share it with others. Or in this case, run it without needing to have Python installed on the machine. Using Pi installer is a popular way to do this. It takes your Python script and bundles it up with all the dependencies into a single executable file. So when you run that file, it behaves just like your original script, but you don't need to worry about the Python environment. Here's how it typically works. One, install Pi installer. If you haven't already, you can install it using pip, just run pip install Pi installer in your terminal. Two, uh, Cody, navigate Cody, to your script. Cody, just pause there. Hey. So am I doing this in a different file or is this in the same file? Great question. You don't need to create a different file for the packaging process. You'll run the pi installer command in your terminal or command prompt, pointing it to uh, your existing Python script. Hmm. So just to clarify. Okay, I get it. So I actually do this inside the command prompt. Exactly. You've got it. Open your command prompt, navigate to the directory where your Python script is located, and then run the py installer command there. It'll package everything up. Okay, I'm going to pause there, but I just want to show you how crazy that is, right? That is so crazy. Uh, and look, it's not it's not perfect, but you just think about how you how combining all of these things is just taking things to another level, right? Like, you know, do, you don't even need to, you know, you, it's good to have a solid understanding of like some of these things you don't know much about, like coding and programming, etc. Like, I'm 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 acquiring ideas and new ways of um of doing things very 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 quickly like i've learned a lot about programming and architecting things etc still not very good but i'm much better than i was but even if i am i'm only okay i can get help like that at every step of the journey like every step so it's, it's just a it's just a massive force multiplier isn't it okay so look i just wanted to show you how that uh, how things are changing very fast. Um, that is not the only way that you can access audio. There's a couple of ways, but that's just one way that I've found that I can custom train the audio in the way that I want. So you see there that I added a, a little bit of personality. And so, you know, one of the one of the ideas I had was, you know, have a bit of fun, have a bit of fun with explaining uh, some of these concepts, you know, and one of the, one of the, 
the things I like about that is what if you can customize that even more? Like what if you have a certain style that you love learning in, right? That could talk to you in concepts. It can talk to you in many different ways. I mean, this is such an unlock for education. It's, it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. Okay, that's all I wanted to showcase. Um, I've got to get to work and try and try and finish this off. Um, still a bit to do, still a bit to do on this. But you know, it would be, I wouldn't be surprised if a lot more videos I create down the line involves some sort of AI audio helping me out, or maybe multiple. I mean, it's, it's um, pretty cool, pretty cool what, what you can do. Okay, rounding off.